So now we're going to have a look at backstitch. So I have another piece of card and we're going to start in exactly the same way as the spinning stitch. So we go up one, down two, and then up three. But this is where it changes. So now instead of carrying on going down the number four, we're going to go back and down hole two. And then when I turn the card out over, you'll see I'm not going to go back up three now. I'm going to miss that hole and I'm going to go up four. Then down three. Oops. And up five. And down four. So each stitch on the, the good side of the card, I'm going backwards, which is obviously where the name comes from. And each stitch on the back, I miss one hole and go on to the next number. And there you go, you can see that gives her a nice continuous line of stitches, which is really useful, especially if you want to make her write, do some writing like this text, or to make shapes, to do the outline of shapes. Back stitch is a great stitch to use. And I love how it works with the, when you have the varied, uh, varied uh, thread, because you get the, the color change as you go around the letters.